Oh, so close to dying. Come on, kill him. Actually, we're both close to dying. Who's gonna die first, me or him? Apparently him. Oh, crap. Bullshit. A minor zombie. Challenge two, right as he's summoning those big bad zombie bosses. Okay, here we go. Attempt number three at these guys. I'm still calling BS over the second attempt failing. Okay. Grab some health real quick. And I think I have one more over here. Not for now, though. Not gonna waste it. Actually, you know what? Ignore these guys right here. Nah, don't ignore them. Because they're gonna come back and haunt me. If I don't kill them now, they're going to come back after I kill the major zombies, and they're going to kick my ass. And then I'm going to be pissed all over again. Dying by the hands of small guys. Okay, his armor's down. Here's the problem I had last time. I hate when they trip me up, though. That's a major problem. Because it makes me invulnerable to all their little spike attacks. They can just stab me, kick me, do whatever they want. Okay, only a few left. Damn it! Same thing that happened last time. Okay. I'm gonna play it safe this time. See, there's no more respawning zombies, thankfully. So I can just take care of them one at a time. Okay, now who's left? Big Bad and Small Guy. Okay, just Big Bad and me. And sadly, no more health. Oh, damn it! Come on, kill him! Bad camera angle, bad camera angle! Up against the wall. There we go! They're all dead. Yes! Now what? Um, no more zombies. Well, what do they want me to do? It's not like I can climb up here. Oh, now I can. Rao, indeed, you are a mighty warrior. Baumusu trained you well. I have been watching you. You and I have many things in common. 
We both lust after greatness. We both relish the taste of battle. And yet, we are both mere pawns in this eternal struggle. Put down your weapon, Rao. Let us together rule this world. Become my general. With you at my side, nothing can stop us. The world will tremble at our might. We will become rulers of... <laughs> That's one way to shut him up. And so, this story draws to an end. A once dark and powerful magician lay slain to my master's blade, as did his legion of terror. Tati was safe with her brother, and the six marks of Cree were once again protected. In time, my master became known throughout the lands as a great and noble warrior. His adventures were many, and his battles grand. As the oracle had prophesied, Rao did in time become a legend. Indeed, his name was spoken to calm children on stormy nights, and I hear one day he did sit with the gods. <laughs> but all of this is a different story for another time. Now I, Kuzo, his servant and chronicler, must move on. Maybe one day I will tell you another tale. Until then, farewell. All right, and that is the end of Mark of Cree. And as Kusai said, yes, there is a sequel to the game. It's called Rise of the Kasai, which pretty much means that these zombies are going to be back. Now, the main part of the sequel is going to be starring him and his little sister. From what I can tell, you can choose between either character. Um, I will be doing that game. I'm just not going to do it anytime soon. Mark of Cree was a six level game, only six levels, and it took me over two months to complete due to delays and just general disinterest to the game. Um, I mean, for the most part it is an interesting game, it's got a unique fighting style, something I've never seen in any other game before, but at the same time it gets very repetitive and very redundant. I mean, I can see why some people consider it an underrated game. But at the same time, it's one of those games you have to really be interested in playing in order to play. Congratulations, load this game to play again with all your unlocked features. Pretty much meaning you now have the ability to play a lot of different time attack modes. Which is pretty much for the most part what the last level was. Except you're timed and you have a certain amount of enemies you have to kill and stuff like that. See, the game is only under six hours long. It's not that long of a game. Yeah, let's just go to the sage. Just gonna show you what exactly time attack mode is in this game. No outfits. Okay, I guess I did not unlock all the outfits. Did I unlock any? Apparently not. But yeah, apparently there's one gothic row. Supposed to be in all black. Yeah, here's the one arena that I did unlock. Let's see what that looks like. Time attack or body count. Time attack is kill all the enemies as fast as possible, and body count is kill as many enemies as possible in five minutes. Complete the challenges, get rewards. So pretty much that's what all this is. Starting off with the axe. Damn archers. 
Yeah, I'm not really interested in doing this. I'm just showing you off what it is. And see, that's the technique I wish I knew about earlier. So look how deadly it is with the axe. Even chopping up the fat guys. So nice. Return to the end. Alright, and that is it for the Mark of Cree. I kinda had fun. Not too much. It wasn't as bad as Tokobots, I'll give you that. So, this is the end of Mark of Cree. I will be doing Rise of the Kasai sometime in the future, just not anytime soon. So this is ECWCWWE signing off for the last time for Mark of Cree. Adios.